Uh, good morning Phil, this is Bob. Um, I just sent you the video clip for the lanthanum chloride reactor. Um, this, that was my second dosage using the unit. Um, as you can see, I had some diatoms on the sand bed and it's slowly going away um, because I'm reducing the phosphates in my tank. Um, you know, diatoms like silica, and phosphate and extra nutrients and the, you know, the diatom just won't go away for some reason, but since I started to dose the lanthanum chloride, um, it seems that my sand bed look, is looking a lot better. I'm, you know, uh, it's almost midday. My midday lights are on, so the tank is very bright. Um, so the sand bed is looking good. Um, I did give away um, quite a few of my anemones. I gave away at least 12 anemones over the past month. And I still have uh, quite a few in the tank, as you can see here. Um, they're spread out um, all over uh, the tank. Um, since we last spoke, I've added, um, you know, you know, the three multibar angels, and I have two golden Arantia angels. So let me just quickly uh, give you the rundown here of the angel population in my tank. Um, so I have a uh, Venustus Angel right here. Um, I have a nice fat Regal. I have a sail fin or flag fin Angel. I have a Coral Beauty. I have a Flame. I have a Keyhole. Um, here is one of the multi bars that I have. Um, here is one of the um, golden Arantia. The multi bar and the uh, golden Arantia or golden angel, they're very shy and cryptic fish. Um, I also have a little African flame back here as well. Um, so I do have quite a few angels in the tank. Um, also, I have a bicolor as well, so I'm not sure if you're keeping count of the amount of angels in the tank. And I also have a potter's angel right here as well. Um, but the new addition to the tank is the three multibar angel. You can see one below here. Uh, they, you know, they're getting acclimated to the tank, and I, you know, so I have three multibars that, that all get along well. Uh, the, the larger of the three, I think, is the male, and the other two might be females. Uh, I think they are able to uh, change their sex based, you know, like, like clownfishes. I also have a pair, as I said, of golden angel. Um, uh, very cryptic fish, you know, you know, they're both eating right now, which is good. The multibars, I haven't seen them eat yet, but they're picking out the rocks, and they look, you know, to be very active. Here is a smaller of the two of my um, golden angel. He's sitting there, sitting back here somewhere. You can see him in there. Um, there he is. Um, but you know, but when the lights are this bright, you know, the multi bars and the golden angel tend to stay in the shadows. They're very cryptic fish. They come from the dark parts of the, dark and deep parts of the ocean. So in the morning, when the lights, when the actinics and the blues are on, they come out, or at night when the the, the dusk lights are coming on, they they tend to come out a lot. Right now, you know, it's like midday in my tank, so everything is like all fully open. Um, that's my pink bird's nest there. I have another piece back there, you know, soft corals, you know, um, SPSs, you know, this, this monster SPS that I have right here. So overall, the tank is doing good. I also added, like I said, this sand sifting goby that has not stopped sifting the sand since he's entered the tank. He's doing a pretty good job as well, keeping the first half inch layer of the sand bed clean. So everything looks good, Phil. The sand bed is beginning to clear up. The diatoms are slowly going away um, because I started to drip that lanthanum chloride in the sump. Um, so there, here's, here's one of my golden angel right there. That's the large of the two. Here's a baby right there. Uh, you know, very shy. You know, hard to get them on 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 on, 
uh, you know, on the camera. Yeah, here's the larger of the two right here, and the smaller of the two is right there. They, they tend to swim together, which is very good. So it looks like they're looks like they're they're beginning to pair up, which is very nice. So I have a pair of golden angel and three multi bars in the tank. So and everything seems to be doing good, Phil. Uh, you gotta love this hobby. So I just want to show you what's going on here with the tank. Um, with the lanthanum chloride being dosed downstairs, um, no, nothing seems to be adversely affected. You know, if you dose the lanthanum chloride correctly, you, the water should not get cloudy. If, if you're seeing the water get cloudy, that means it's 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 getting into the tank, and then it can irritate the fish. It can also drop alkalinity, so you have to be very careful. But so far, it looks like I'm administering the lanthanum chloride very effectively. Um, you can see. Uh, the smaller multibar back here, very small, maybe about an inch or so, you know, picking the rocks right there. You know, they tend to stay in the shadows a lot. Uh, very nice fish, very hard to get eating, but right now they seem to be eating all the rocks. I haven't seen them eat, you know, my live, you know, prepared food, whether it's live brined or prepared foods. They haven't, I haven't seen them eaten, but they're eating all the rocks right now. And, and that's good enough for me right now. Hopefully they'll begin to eat. They're very active, you know, you know, picking off the coal pots that I've put in the tank. I've added, four, you know, 4,000 coal pots over the past month so that at least they have something to munch on, you know, while they uh, learn to eat my prepared foods. So, you know, again, Phil, you know, it's, you know, my tank is now becoming a, a, a predominantly angel tank. Um, but I, I really am pleased with the Golden Angels that I've added recently. Um, you know, they've paired up very nicely, and the three multibars as well are, are doing their thing. So, you know, I just want to share this with you, Phil. Hope you enjoy, and I will talk to you soon. Yes.